In this video, we're going to be taking a look at a two-play concept for you that is really going to help your offense in Madden 21. What's up, guys? My name is Cody, and I want to thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. Now, if you're new to the channel, and maybe you've never been to my channel before, my channel is all about how to become a better Madden player in Madden 21. Now, if you're new, like I said, uh, one of the ways that you can follow the channel, one of the ways that you can get connected here is to go ahead and hit the subscribe button. That's completely free, all right? It doesn't cost you anything to subscribe. All you have to do is just hit that button right there. And what that allows for you to get is it allows you to know every time we release a new video which is multiple times a day on this channel so if you have not subscribed yet it's completely free we try to release new videos every day at eight o'clock in the morning twelve o'clock uh or i'm sorry noon two o'clock three o'clock four o'clock six o'clock seven o'clock and eight o'clock and then we stream every night at 10 o'clock p.m eastern time so try to give you guys as much content as possible and try to give you as much tools as possible for you to be able to be effective now, the offense that we're talking about today is my bunch tight end offensive ebook. Now, if you have not picked up that offensive ebook, I would encourage you to consider doing that. It's just 15 bucks and it is available in the description. And the reason why I would encourage you to consider picking that up is it's going to give you the whole system. It's going to give you the whole scheme. It's going to give you everything that you need to dominate on the offensive side of the ball. In my opinion, the bunch tight end is the best passing offense in the game. And so, like I said, if you want to get that full ebook, it is in the description and if you have any questions about what you see in the video today just te hit me up via text message my phone number is in the top left hand corner of your screen okay guys so I wanted to talk about two plays in particular today that I think are going to help you um, just be more effective offensively and that is the mesh and the PA uh, the PA all cross okay and we're gonna run these a little bit different um, than we normally do and we're also going to do this through the lens of a couple of different zone drops. We're going to kind of start with like the basic zone drops here. And I want to share with you one, a couple different couple different ways to run this. So the first thing that I want to talk about is the PA boot over. Uh, first and foremost, I do want to talk about this against cover two. Um, I talked about this a little bit earlier, but if you're facing someone that likes to run a lot of cover two, this route to Vada's Scantling will pretty much automatically beat it if you motion it to the right. So you'll see right here, you know, this is going to kill cover two, right? Just right over the top there, easy read, and that's a dot. I mean, it, it literally just, it's going to beat cover two, okay? Um, now, the beauty of this route is I think we can actually get this route to play a lot better against some of the other zones that it's going to be going up against. So, uh, we're going to take a look right now against cover three Mabel, okay? That's another popular coverage that you'll see online. So this is just a simple cover three Mabel. And all we're going to do on the PA cross is we're going to streak the tight end, which his icon is the X button. And then we're going to we're going to smart route the square receiver. So we're going to hit triangle, square, and then R, R1 or RB. And then what we're going to do here is I personally love to double team on the rollout here. I like to keep this as a rollout play. You don't have to, but I personally like to. And then we're just going to motion this guy out. Now, the, mash, the timing of the snap is critical. We're going to snap him kind of about right here um, to give him time to get out of the pocket. And essentially what's going to happen is you're going to see against cover three, even though Jair Alexander has the deep out elite ability, that cover three is not going to be able to get back there, and it's not going to be able to stop this. And this is going to force a very specific type of defense, which we will then be able to take advantage of here in just a second. But I just want you to stop for a second, and I want you to notice, and again, you don't even have to roll out. Um, I like to roll out because I think that it makes the I think it makes the zones play a little bit worse. But again, all it is is a, is a streak to the tight end. We're motioning Valdez on that corner route, snapping him kind of right in this little pocket here. And what you'll see is the cover three won't guard him. Cover three will not guard him at all. As you can see, it's wide open every time. Now, I want to talk through a couple of different things um, also. So let's try something else. Let's try, um, so cover four, or I'm sorry, cover cover um, cover two we've taken care of. Cover three cloud. Um, this is a coverage that has a flat zone on it. Now, our flat zones, I believe, are shaded at 25 yards, okay? Uh, and I just want you to watch how this plays. This is an outside third coming from the safety. And you'll see, again, this timing of the snap is ever so critical. But as you can see, cover three cloud doesn't stand a chance either as we're able to get the ball over the cloud flat. 
So the only defense that they can really play on the right side of the field is potentially a cover four. So let's take a look at the cover four here real quick. And we're just going to shade coverage um, to get some cloud flats out there. So we just shade coverage out or down and up. And then what you're going to see here is we motion that square receiver over. Again, We're going to. it's a very kind of technical right at the hash mark right in there. And now what you'll see is cover four kind of hangs. So cover four kind of hangs with the corner route. So they have to run a very specific zone. Um, as far as man coverage goes, let's say that they want to run man coverage. If you have a good route running receiver in that position, which I don't right now, but if that was Dav Devontae Adams, um, he would beat man coverage. But just know he's not the only player running routes, right? Your circle receiver beats man coverage on the drag. Your triangle receiver will also be able to beat man to man coverage. So just know you're going to have multiple different options here. Okay, you don't just have to rely on that one route. But I do want to talk through a little bit about this cover four. Um, and I just want to show you kind of how this is going to set up the set up the strategy for them to have to run a very specific coverage on that right side which is then going to open up stuff on the middle of the field and on the left side so again cover four if we roll out roll out roll out you see that that outside quarter takes it now one of the things that you might have noticed is that the outside quarter takes that route but it doesn't necessarily mean it's going to take the crossing route coming across now you might not you may look at this play and you may say i don't want to run a crossing route to the triangle receiver that's okay but i would suggest that you just take a look here um, as you can see you can basically get that crossing route right in behind there even though it's a very tight window this is a very um, significant in my opinion flood of that side of the field one of the other things that i think is really interesting so let's say like let's take a look at a cover four through a different lens here um, and we're just going to put no route on the right side of the field so we're just just having this corner route to about a scantling and we're going to snap it kind of right out in this little pocket here. And what you'll notice is sometimes, it doesn't happen all the time, sometimes that corner route will actually get over the top of the quarter zone. So um, there's some things that we can do with route manipulation to be able to get that open. So that's something that you can kind of test out down the road. Now, again, we have everything for you in our Bunch Tight End Offensive eBook. But I'm about to jump into the mesh play um, and talk a little bit about that. But again, as you can see right here, they really don't um, – it's very difficult for them to take the, the, the circle receiver and the square receiver um, as far as the drag and the post route. Okay, so now let's take a look at um, the mesh play. So the mesh play is very similar to the PA boot over, except it's uh, in terms of like the motion, who you're going to motion. But the square receiver is going to be your primary target on this route. Now, what you're going to do with your running back is you're going to put him on a wheel route. The reason why you want to put your, your running back, which is your R1 receiver, the reason why you want to put him on a wheel route is because um, it's going to help a ton. Now, again, we're anticipating them to play cover four. So what this is going to do is it's going to pull the zones out of the middle of the field, especially if they're running some type of Mabel coverage. A lot of people that run cover four, they have to run some type of Mabel coverage underneath to be able to hang with like curl routes and things like that. And then all we're going to do, um, all we all we really have to do is we're going to take cir the circle receiver, we're going to put him on out route. We're going to take Devontae Adams and put him on a fade route, which is the triangle receiver. And then for the tight end perspective, I like to put him on a delay fade or delay crossing route. And um, and he's your X receiver. And again, you're going to motion this guy out. Now you're going to get him a little bit more spacing. But what you'll notice is that post route will come wide open against the cover four. All the zones will drift back to take care of the fade route that we have to the triangle receiver and then you're going to be able to hit this post route so again we'll show you that real quick here and again all we're doing is we're taking the triangle receiver we're putting him on a fade the circle receiver is going on an out route the x receiver is going on a delay fade which let me show you right here is one of the best man beaters in the entire game in my opinion and then the running back is going to go on a wheel so the reason that i wanted to share this with you is this is more of a man beating version of the same thing so this will beat man better it will also beat cover four better uh than the pa than the pa cross will uh, at least the way we were setting it up and so the beauty of this is now you have a play that looks exactly the same as pa cross but it goes in a completely different direction. If they put a flood concept over here on the right, the wheel route's gonna take all the zones on that side, and then you're gonna be able to hit that crossing route to, uh, or I'm sorry, that post route to about a scantling. 
Now, guys, that's just a little bit of a glimpse of the Bunch Tight End Offensive Ebook. If you want to buy the Bunch Tight End Offensive Ebook, it's just 15 bucks. It helps the channel out a ton. And it also, I believe, will help you. We've had a lot of reports come in and texts and things come in that people are having a ton of success with this offense. And they're, it's very, very effective. So if you have not already picked up this offense, it is in the description for you. It's just 15 bucks. Now, you may be sitting there and you may be saying, well, I don't know if I, I, don't know if I want to get this yet. What I want to tell you is I actually have a, a little bit more of a free sample. I have a one-hour free sample video um, on the bunch tight end. So literally one hour of breakdowns um, just as a preview to what we give you in the bunch tight end offensive ebook. And so if you want to get that preview, I would encourage you to text me. My number is 812-216-3644. So just pull out your cell phone right now. Say, hey, Cody, I want to get that preview of that bunch tight end offensive ebook. And then I'll receive that text. And as soon as I can, I will shoot you a link to the video and it also will have a link to the entire playlist of our text message membership for you that has a ton of really good stuff in it but that would be my advice to you if you're looking to get your game better those are two ways that i think it can really help your offense so thanks for watching today guys and let me know if you have any questions everything that you need is in the description